This was for you. Have you ever been at two places at once? You know how bliss feels. That's how my sis feels. Riding her new wheels. No more happy meals. Diamond studded grills. New York City thrills. Giving my mama chills. Paying my mama bills. Jayla Mariah Mills. I know how to get feels. más a Oscuro TV, le trae a ustedes, um, how can I say this? Well, first let me introduce myself. My name is George, better known as Negros Party. This is Plug, a platform for artists uh, to come and show off their work. But today, I have an American soulful rapper, singer, and songwriter who plans to impact every single one of her fans. You guys might know her as Jay Nicole, but I know her as Jenna. How you doing, baby? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Um, you come here today to Plug, um, you haven't released your singles. It's going to come up in the next few days. Um, but before we get into that, um, let's talk about, you know, you were born in Jersey um, and you were raised in a portion in Brooklyn. Um, how was that upbringing? Uh, it was rough. It was rough. Um, I mean, I'm here. I'm blessed. And thank you so much for having me. Um, being in Jersey and being in Brooklyn is a really big melting pot. So being raised with a whole bunch of different cultures really kind of brought my awareness to everything and brought a lot of goodness in my music dope 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 and listen myself you know i was i was born in jersey um and i was raised a good portion in dr and um i think the one major difference in between dr and here is that you get exposed to so many cultures while you're here yes right um so you know let's talk about your music and you know what inspires you uh, to write like what 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 is it within your soul that's kind of like this is what I have to speak about honestly I get really passionate about life in general so from past experiences in my life I just feel it flow out of me um, so I could be walking down the George Washington Bridge which I did recently and I stopped in the middle and I was just like oh my god I'm at two places at once <laughs> I'm from both New York and New Jersey, and it's just a blessing. And I just started to write. And literally on the George Washington Bridge, I'm crisscross legs with my headphones on, writing a whole rap. And I'm like, wow, I can't believe I just did that. Now, you, now, you know, a lot of uh, artists, right, um, they sometimes you know, write music that doesn't really pertain to their life. And what I'm getting from you is that m most of your rap, if not all, pertains to some sort of portion in your life, right? Oh, yeah, all of it. And why, why is that? Can you, you know, what, what is it about writing about your life that makes it like that more meaningful? It's art. It's therapeutic. Um, I sit and reflect and the lyrics that just come out, it's just, it's really therapeutic and I know it's very relatable to things that people are going through and have went through and I know that it can get to them. So music has been healing for me since I was young and I didn't realize until recently that this is what I was made for, like this is what I'm made to do. And once I really tapped into it, I was just like, wait a second, okay, <laughs> all right God, I hear you. <laughs> so I mean other artists, they're amazing. But me, I like to write my own things. Um, I just, I, I like where the flow comes from, and I'm a perfectionist, so I'll go back and until I hear it amazing, and um, and I start to like flip flop things, and I'm just like, oh, okay, this is it, this is it, this is it. Now talking about you know kind of finding that calling, right? Um, you just recently um, made a major move in your life, and you moved to the other side of the country, where it's a totally different vibe. You know, what drove you to, like, move to Cali? I wasn't happy. I wasn't happy with my life in general. I was so scared to do things, so scared to go for my dreams. Um, I worked at McDonald's for, like, seven years as a manager, and I was just like, wait a second. I can't do this for the rest of my life. I was just thinking, and I was like, okay, if I'm 40, what will I do when I have children? And I could tell them I modeled a little bit, but I never went for it. I never went for my dreams as a lyricist. And 
I would be so unhappy with myself. So that kind of just pushed me to make this huge move. And I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go and I'm going to try because there's nobody stopping me but myself. And once I started that journey, I've, I've been blessed ever since. You know, I think, you know, one of the things in life is uh, sometimes uh, we are sometimes our biggest enemies. Yeah. Uh, and, we, and we hold <laughs> ourselves sometimes from uh, uh, accomplishing and gaining things because we're so scared of getting them. Right. And yeah. Just because, you know, there's a lot of sacrifices in between. Um, but one of the things that helps a lot with that is, uh, is meditation, something that I've struggled a lot with. Right. But I know that you are really big on this, <laughs> um, you know, and I want you to talk to me about meditation and um, and kind of like the importance behind it. I just meditated like five minutes ago. <laughs> um, it's very calming. You get to ease your mind because we're always so busy during the day. You know, we have meetings, we have this, we have that, and we forget to live in the present moment. So what meditation is for me, it brings me back to living in the present because we start to worry. We start with our anxiety and what it does is it stops everything and it really helps you think it helps you dream it helps you be at peace with yourself once i was at peace at myself i was like oh okay i'm gonna keep doing this all the time um it helps it just helps so much it's helped my life so much i meditate in the morning when i wake up i meditate in the afternoon i mean it's just it's really good it's a really good practice um to keep yourself disciplined to keep yourself focused to keep yourself dreaming because that's what it's about if you have a dream you could see that when you meditate it's just it's a blessing now let's talk a bit more about the music industry right um and i know for the most part uh, a lot of artists have um other artists that inspire them uh to like to be great so, you know what artists do you look up to that um kind of almost like give you energy to do what you do um i'm a big 50 cent eminem fan um jay-z and yeah i listen to their music and i'm just like oh shit this is what i was bumping at 11 like with my walkman <laughs> and, and learning every lyric eight mile um when that movie came out man that was my shit like the whole soundtrack i was just like yeah and my mom was just like she took us to the movies me and my sisters and she let us go to the front and she's like i'm gonna be in the back she wasn't very interested and there's like a sex scene in, in it and we're 11 and she's just like oh my god i felt like such a bad mother <laughs> and i was like no I you guys. <laughs> yeah and i was like no eminem go go <laughs> That's funny, that's funny. Yeah. Now, um, talk to me about this album. Um, and before we go into the album, you know, what does uh, AAO mean? Against All Odds. Against All Odds. And why are you naming that the title? It was my favorite store growing up. <laughs> so there's like <laughs> irony there. Um, every time we pass it in the mall, it's like, Mom, please. Um, and also, it's my life. It's against all odds. I feel like a lot of odds were against me my whole life and I just kept persevering. I kept pushing through and I was like, nah, you're not going to take me. It's okay. So, you know, having life against all odds, I mean, I think it could be uh, tough at times, right? Um, but, you know, you just showed me your, your the, the single you're dropping now in a few days. Um, talk to me about that single um, and um, the impact you think you're gonna have with it. So that single is called Dear Dad, and I think I'm gonna have a huge impact. So it's about a life experience. It was about my molestation when I was younger, and that was the first song I recorded it because I was just like, I'm gonna go for the most challenging first. Once I recorded it, I was just like, wow. When people hear this, they are going to be floored just floored like nobody talks about this stuff and there are i remember one of my songs growing up that was very healing runaway love by Ludacris and mary j blige and it's about similar um instances it it speaks to people because there are a lot of people that will go through this and they need to hear that they're not alone 
you know it, it took so long for me to even voice it for me to even speak up but now that i have and now that i've re released the song or releasing the song it's amazing that others get to hear it and get to hear what i've been through and could relate it to their life and just feel like it, it's just a feeling that song is a feeling now you I think, you know, sometimes it's tough uh, for people, us, to share some of these experiences that are very meaningful to us just because of the impact that it can have on others. Um, but as an artist, you know, what's what's the most important impact that you want to have on the people that are listening to you and your fans? I want to inspire them. I want to inspire them to know that they have what it takes, no matter what odds are against them against all odds we got this anybody got this and right. yeah now before we end up here um jenna um a message to every single girl out there every single guy out there that is listening to your music uh what's what's that message that you want to send out to them thank you so much for listening there is so much in store I just want to speak to you. I want to help you. I want to heal you in any way I can. And I love you. I do. Blessings. Bueno, mi gente, a los Cruz TV once again. My name is George Ruiz, better known as Negros Party. This is Plug, the plumbing for artists to come and show off the work. And today, I brought to the American soulful rapper, singer, songwriter, inspirational, motivational. Oh, thank and, you. And, you know, I gave you a little bit of meditation to you today. Um, <laughs> Jane Nicole, um, I'm still going to call her Jenna. That's okay. I don't think I'm changing. I don't think I'm changing. That's, That's okay. Um, and once again, thank you for tuning in. I was Cruz TV Plug. Hey guys, you are now plugged into Jane Nicole.